Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm painting Birnbauer from Zombicide Green Horde. Alright, so I start off by priming this miniature with Dragon Red from the Army Painters Primers. And I move on to Pale Skin from Zombicide Invaders uh, paint set. And this is for his face, gills, whatever you want to call it, his head. Just to start off a base for the future contrast painting. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for more videos in the future. To be honest, I wasn't really thrilled about painting this miniature because I don't know and I'm not that good on blending contrast colors or even paints. I've tried to be looking up some techniques on how to do it, but so this guy doesn't turn out the way I really wanted him to. His face anyways, the rest of them I, I like what I did, but his face I had a really hard time with it. Anyways, sorry if you guys have really bad comments for how I painted this guy, but you know what? Eh, you know, he's not going anywhere, he's just going to show up on the table at some point. <laughs> So this is the first Citadel Colors Contrast, Magos Purple. And I used this for his lips and for a part of his arm because it was a bit of a darker purple in the artwork. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just went with the light blue that I used later on. All right, then I use another Citadel Colors Contrast called Orc Flesh. So this is going to be the first color I use on his face, or his head, and I shouldn't use orc flesh. I'm really thinking eventually I might actually repaint his head completely and change it, because I think I should use the, I think it's called camo or something like that, or militarum green. I think it would have come out a little bit better. Alright, so the next Citadel color I use is a contrast, Pterodon Turquoise, and this is for the bottom part of his head, uh, so under his chin and all that stuff, his arms, his hands, and some part of the gills sticking out of his head and the back of his head. Now this one kind of came out a little bit more blue, but it blends in and I kind of go over the green with it too just to try and mesh it. I think I would have to wait until it was still a bit watery to green to mesh it in properly, but anyways, I gotta try what I gotta do, right? You learn And then I try to do his eyes, which is a bit of white and a little dot of red, which I add a little bit more red later on. It's not easy to paint this guy. All right, then I'm going to use a Vallejo's model color, flat brown. Uh, this is going to be part of the gun, his belt straps, and uh, around his collar as well. And I believe I do his boots as well like this. If you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram or even on YouTube, so it's Rob Easterling at Instagram and YouTube and Easterling's Gaming at Facebook. You can see some more high detail picture of uh, the miniature on Instagram. All right, now I'm going to use some Shining Silver, which is a metallic color from the Army Painter. And uh, this is just going to be for the trim around his coat and some uh, details around his uh, cloak in front and also for the tip of the gun.
All right, I'm going to move on to another metallic color called Weapon Bronze from the Army Painter. And this is just going to finish off some of the details on the gun, as well as a couple little uh, ornaments that he has on himself. All right, and we're going to f uh, finish off with the Citadel Shade. And I'm using Null Oil. Uh, I seem to be liking this very much lately. And I was hoping that this darkness would maybe fix the face a bit more. It did not. Anyways, at least it works well in the rest of the miniature. And uh, yeah. All right, and since this guy looks like a fish, I figured he could come out of water. So I'll use some Elven Armor, which is a metallics color from the Army Painter's colored metallic paint sets. And I actually like how it does, but the red does show through a bit. So I will put a second layer on it, and you'll see that in the picture more off. All right, so now I'm going to do a little bit of dry brushing on with some flat red from Vallejo's model color, and this will be for his cape. And some of the details on in the front, he's got some ornaments that show up on his, on the, I don't know what you call that, his crude dress. I'm going to keep using that, and just on his arms a bit, and that just makes it pop out a little bit more. But there you go, Birnbauer, all finished up and painted, even though I don't like him. And that's what he's supposed to look like. Yeah. Anyways, thank you again for watching. Have a nice day, guys.